This is my journey through tarot. So I thought I'd do a, um, a quick read on uh, the Duchess of Sussex, Megan. And um, we just did Harry a little earlier, and uh, so this is a fitting uh, companion for today's video. So, Megan, Duchess of Sussex. Going to use the Visconti uh, tarot today, and I'll show you more about those in just a minute. So, we'll see how she's doing. Harry seems to be fine. So, these cards are great. Um, they're actually a miniature uh, and gilded version of some other uh, cards I have called the Visconti Sforza tarot. So, these are the Visconti tarot, and what uh, Los Garabio has done... Um, and you always know their cards by the little uh, scarab on the uh, on the package. Is they've um, gilded them, so they took the cards, and they also nice booklet, just like everybody. Let's put this back. You can tell because this is all goldy. So the, and we'll use these cards to clarify if need be the miniature uh, rider weight. So Los Carabino has uh, gone in and. Um, colorized and gilded these cards as you can see and it, they may wreak havoc on the camera so we'll just have to see but um you know thought I'd give them a try and I have the super huge Visconti Sforza version of these that I, I might use one day these also are a little more cryptic than the typical Rider weight uh, cards so we'll be testing my <coughs> be testing my um ability here let me get that um <coughs> pictorial key of the tarot out in case I need it and we just start to shuffle these are a little thinner than you um, the normal playing cards they feel kind of uh, they don't feel flimsy but they do feel thinner I guess if you're gonna gild them which is just a matter of embossing stuff on on top of that I don't know if you can tell but these there's really a texture where they're embossed and then you should start out if you're gonna do that you just start out with a thinner stock of card so that um, the overall thickness of it is not more than what you would expect it to be. So these shuffle nicely, or I'm just in a good shuffling mood right now. So Meghan Markle, Duchess of Sussex, wife to Prince Harry, mother of Archie. She had a miscarriage mother to the unborn sibling child what is going on for you right now dear miss Megan? what amazing charmed life you had so we'll cut these and then one more shuffle and spread them out and take some cards out for the typical celtic cross okay so this is for Meghan markle which is a Sussex. What is going on for you today, my dear? We already talked about your husband, Harry, earlier. Imagine that, just a normal girl from California marrying a prince. Um, it's a dream come true, I suppose. And, and they're both, indeed, lovely, wonderful folks. So, a signifier card for this read, just a general energy reading for Meghan Markle. And we're going to start with the Knave of Pentacles, which is like the Page of Pentacles. And I'm sure this is very uh, shiny. But um, the Page of Pentacles is the uh, lesser uh, of the court card. So this fellow is usually bringing a message forward about uh, um, something of value. You know, it could be money. And uh, if she starts out as the Page, a signifier card of her is the Page of Pentacles. Um, that seems appropriate in the overall picture in the in the environment that she's landed herself in. I mean, she's fallen in with the one of the most wealthy families in the world, I suppose. Um, and so that would kind of position her as being, you know, a page among uh, all these kings and queens. Someone just bringing a message of of, of wealth. That's exactly who she is. As a matter of fact, she came to Harry and she says. You know, you don't have to live this life that you're in. You can have everything that you want. 
It's exactly who she is. The challenge to that then is the Wheel of Fortune. Oh my goodness. It is. It's the Wheel of Fortune. And of course, that's the challenge to her coming in and saying, you know, here, I know that we can do this and we can be completely secure and uh, and feeling for Harry and even for herself that they're really rolling the wheel. But she'd done it once. She brought herself from nothing and she saw the value that they had. She just revealed it. And um, and that was the challenge. And it wasn't much of a challenge at all. It was a gilded uh, situation. So the next card uh, for them is the base of the reading, which is the Two of Swords. Just absolutely appropriate. Two of Swords speaks just about having to make a choice, having to go one way or the other. And um, and both are, are noble ways to go. And this is truth and justice for me. And uh, or, or maybe truth and power. Um, or But, you know, they, they honestly uh, took a beautiful uh, way to go. You know, this uh, writing on this right here, you'll see it on several of the, the PIP cards, is, uh, I, I'm sure I'm not pronouncing it correctly, this is French for, it says avant-droit, so it's like a good right. In other words, the, you have the right to take the direction you want to go. The uh, past for Miss Duchess of Sussex is the Queen of Pentacles. I have to say it's fine. I mean, she came into this marriage worth several million dollars, and um, and she's leaving certainly better than I mean she's not leaving the marriage but she's she's carrying on certainly better than when she started so she does seem to be the queen of pentacles and and you know the queen of pentacles can speak to you too but pentacles means worth value um, you know knowing how to make something and uh, this queen knows uh, what her value is and how to use it up in the sky for Megan would be the fool and the fool just speaks to you know starting a new journey. And this is exactly what they've done. They've, they've, she's done several times, you know. So she left uh, the USA. She was living in Canada for the um, her television show, but she left there to go to England and start a new life. And now she's she's started over again with her family. So this is absolutely in the sky, the beginning of a new life. Um, and look how beautiful it is. We're talking about. Let's move all these over a bit and make some room so all these can show nicely. So this is the sky for her. This is the challenge right here. This is the base, and this is the past. And so right here for the near future is the Six of Cups. The Six of Chalices, they tell you in this card, and it mentions it in um, in several different languages, which is interesting. Uh, Italian, uh, English, um, Spanish, French. And I'm not sure what this last language is here. Um, I couldn't pronounce that either. But uh, the Six of Cups. I'm drawing a blank on what is the Six of Cups. So let me think about it for a moment. Well, we're just going to have to pull the book out and take a look. Six of Cups. I don't mind doing that. Uh, it's not like I say there's a ton of people watching these movies anyway. And uh, that's the Five of Cups. As soon as I see the picture, oh yeah, the Six of Cups. Absolutely. You probably knew and I didn't. It was remembering remembering the, the how things were in the past and how nice it was. So the outcome of this is is reminiscent of how beautiful things were in the past so it just speaks to a, a beautiful beautiful outcome let's take the next four cards which is the absolute self of uh the duchess of sussex right now and she is the sun and um absolutely so she's shining uh the way for her family to move forward she's in the environment of as a matter of fact justice and why, why wouldn't she be in, in the environment of justice? They've done nothing wrong. They separated themselves from, from uh, the complications that were the royal family. And they only want to make things better for the world. And if they happen to get rich along the way, more power to them. Justice. That's a lovely environment to be in. And then uh, the uh, hopes and the fears, then, are going to be the magician. And that's appropriate for the hopes and the, mag the fears. The magician has all the tools available to him. He has the uh, pedicles. He has the... Um, wands he has the swords he has the uh, cups and so everything that he needs is available for him uh to move forward in their hopes and their i don't think they have fears at all i think their hopes is that they just use all those tools in an appropriate manner the fact that they've got all those tools and their hopes and their fears is plenty enough for me and then the final outcome here is the ace of pentacles and this is a great big huge ace of pentacles and i would say this is a just a guarantee that what they're looking for, what she's looking for anyway, is uh, is certainly going to come forth in big ways. Not just in money, but in the wonderful things that they expect to do in their lives and in the beautiful lives, hopefully, that they'll lead. 
So that's uh, that's the Duchess of Sussex. Well, that was amazing. I think that came together very well. And those cards, I hope they show up on the camera as beautiful as they are in person. So um, there we go. A beautiful uh, outcome, just like we would hope uh, they would have. Uh, I wonder if I can look in the future to see what that baby might be. Stick around. We might be doing that. But for now, my name's Mark. This is my journey through tarot. Thank you so much for coming by. You don't know uh, what it means to me to think that somebody is uh, enjoying this uh, as I am. Or even if you're just laughing at me, that's fine too. Come back and laugh tomorrow. I'll be here. Ciao for now.